Really quick, we're going to do one last call because this sounds kind of fun. Um, and we've got, we'll take this one as uh, uh, Jason in Nevada. Uh, has human evolution been stunted by modern e- uh, medicine? N- kind of, but no, but not in the way you think. Jason, hi, how are you? Uh, I'm great. I hope you guys are good. Fantastic. Uh, cool. I only, I took this call because this is a really cool thing that I want to talk about really quickly. Did you have anything that you wanted to add to this or is your question simply just has it been stopped or like whatever? Uh, well, I, well, I know it probably has been stopped because as far as I know, evolution never stops, but I was right. just wondering with things like, um, all these advances in medicine, like I was, I was thinking to be more specific, if your wisdom tooth got impacted, like, a few generations ago you would get infected and you would die. But now since we can alleviate that people aren't dying of it and now they're going to stick around for a lot longer than if they had to evolve out of our uh, uh, population, I would assume. So I was just wondering if if we like observe that that is actually happening and if there are like, if that's a good thing, if that's a bad thing for the species or what, that's that's sort of what I was asking. Yeah, it's a, it's so, we've definitely changed the trajectory of our evolution by changing the uh, selection pressures. And we can see some trends going along with that. Um, We're getting taller and taller because of uh, increased access to nutrition. We're getting bigger and bigger heads, mainly because of cesarean sections. Um, Like there's, there are things like that um, that are super cool. Uh, As far as whether it's a net positive or negative, the cold hearted, true fact science answer is that there's no such thing as good or bad in evolution. It just is what it is. The actual human answer, as far as like a society is concerned, I'd say it's definitely a positive because like now we're able to take control of our evolution and by not losing so many people, number one, we're preserving genetic diversity, which is really good. Um, And also we are able now to kind of modify the selection pressures that we evolve into in a better way, maybe even get to the point where someday we'll be, you know, I don't want to say mature enough as a species, but that is what I mean. Mature enough as a species to be talking about genetic engineering as a serious thing. Um, Because like when you talk about it now, it's like, oh, well, you're going to have designer babies and you want blue eyes and brown hairs and everybody and all these different things. And like, but then when you think about it in terms of possibility, see the dog agrees. Um, when it turns to talk about in terms of real possibility, you could make sure that nobody ever has asthma and that everybody is, you know, has a good metabolism and that nobody ever has a, a, a you know, a, a chromosomal disorder or, or this. Uh, and then the question becomes less, why wouldn't you do that? Or why would you do that? And more like, how could you not? That sounds like an amazing thing to guarantee everybody. But then also you have, fucking idiots who take that into like some eugenics territory because fascists that don't understand biology love to bring up eugenics. Um, so like it, then that's why I put that caveat when, when we are a, a mature enough species, when we can have this conversation seriously, it'd be cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, we've definitely changed the selection pressures and we've definitely changed the evolutionary trajectory. And I would say that's a net positive, but that's just me. All right, thank you. That's that's really cool. Yeah, thank you for your question. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm. Uh, Have uh, an awesome rest of your day. Yeah. See you later. Well, thank you for being. Thank you for being here, and thank you for calling in. Thank you for being a fan. Great I appreciate it. Loved it. I just wanted to squeeze that one in there because that's so well, I, freaking cool. I think, think about, about that question all the time, and you you've affirmed for me that my thinking on that is actually relatively correct. Is that we've in in a way lifted ourselves out of natural selection pressures that used to exist. Or at yeah. least to some extent. And so I love getting extent. that affirmation. Yeah. 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 And that's the whole, like the past a hundred thousand, especially the past 20,000 years of human existence has been removing selection pressures or at least changing right. them. There's yeah. a reason why I, I don't have to worry about getting eaten by a bear on my way to work because right. we've yeah. changed that. You know what I mean? And exactly. there's some bad sides to that and there's some good sides to that, but it, it has an observable effect no matter what you think of it. 